talk about dog dental care. So let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable and we'll get on to it. Hi, my name's Alana. I'm a vet nurse and dog trainer at Kalani Vale Vets and I'm here today to talk to you guys about dog dental care. You can pick up these little packs from Kalani Vale Vets today and they have everything you need to start that journey off with. They come with a little packet of toothpaste, a finger cloth, and your toothbrush. They also come with step-by instructions in the packet, but I will go through them today with you. To start off with, all you need is a doggy toothpaste. Now, Kalani Valvets do keep that on hand also in a bigger tube. Now, you always want to remember to use doggy toothpaste as human toothpaste is toxic to dogs. It is designed for us to spit out, whereas dogs aren't going to do that. So they have designed a toothpaste that they can swallow and is safe for dogs. Now this one is poultry flavour, so the dogs do tend to like it a bit more over the minty fresh breath. Any flavour that's going to get them in, that's what we want to use. You can also start off with a little bit of peanut butter on your finger while they're learning to brush their teeth and slowly move on to a doggy toothpaste. And what you want to do is, starting off with a pea sized bit on your finger with the toothpaste or a bit of peanut butter, whatever works for you to start off with, and all you're going to do is let the dog lick it off and get them into a routine of that and them liking it can take a couple of days and then we'll move on to step two. To start off with, what you'll need is a dog and your doggy toothpaste. Sit. Good girl. And all you want to do is put the pea-sized bit on your finger and all you're going to do is let them lick it off. And once they like that, then you can move on to step two. Or the other way, you can use your peanut butter. So sit. And all you want to do is the same thing, but you use the peanut butter and get them used to it. And all you do is let them lick it off. Okay, so for the second step in brushing your dog's teeth, you will need your toothpaste again, and you can just use your finger, or you can use the little cloth out of the kit also, or you can purchase a little finger toothbrush, and Kalani Vale Vets do sell these as well. Now all you want to do is you put a little dab again on your finger, touching their teeth and getting them to let you actually put your finger in their mouth, or use the cloth or the finger toothbrush. This step can take up to at least two weeks. So don't feel like they're not getting it or you're not able to put your finger in and moving it around yet. As I said, it can take two weeks. And some dogs will take longer as well, but it's just a slow process and getting them used to it, what suits them in their time as well. We never wanna force them into anything that's gonna freak them out. And if that happens, we just wanna stop for the night. Okay, so for the second step, you will need a dog again and what you want to do is you get the toothpaste out put it on your finger again if they want to lay down that's perfect and all you want to do is again start off with licking and then all you're going to do is try and put your finger in their mouth or lifting it up and touching their gum for Zena, she doesn't like the poultry flavor of the toothpaste so i use peanut butter for her just to get her used to it and what you want to do is you get the peanut butter on your finger again, same thing, letting them lick it off, touching the gum all around while the peanut butter's on there. Then you can move on to the little finger toothbrush or the cloth, and same thing, coat it with the peanut butter or the toothpaste. Same thing while they're getting used to it, touching their gums and their teeth, rotating it, moving it around in their mouth. As I said, it can take up to two weeks. Okay, so from step two, when you get to the finger toothbrush or the cloth, if, you, if you're using the cloth, the next step is the toothbrush. Um, but if you are already on the finger toothbrush, you can stay with that or you can move on to the toothbrush. So, okay, so for step three, I am just going to use a model because I want you to be able to see in their mouth and to show you what we do. Uh, my dogs are used to the finger toothbrush, but these toothbrushes are fantastic if that's the way you want to go. As it is the two, and it just goes over the top of them. So I will show you the step on a mold. So I'm just gonna be using this mold here, and the toothbrush looks like this. So as you can see, it has two bristles on either side, and the aim for that is you just have to go over the tooth, and it goes on both sides, back and forth, from side to side, up the top, also. In if you were just using a different toothbrush, a normal, face toothbrush, what you'd want to be doing is the round movements from side to side as well. But this one, fantastic, as you just need to go through them and it does 
for the sides. So that is step three and I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned how to brush your dog's teeth. Thanks for watching.